Hey everyone, I'm Megan, but you can also call me Lovely Moon Bunny, and I am new to Toy Box Collectibles. I am so excited to be here, and today something super exciting is happening. I am actually about to be leaving my apartment to go to the airport to go to New York, because I'm going to the New York Toy Fair, and I'm going to be taking you guys with me so we can see all the new awesome toys and collectibles coming out. This is gonna be so much fun. This is my first time in New York, and I'm so excited to share it with you, so let's get going. made it to the toy fair and it looks so freaking awesome but I have to show you guys this giant Pikachu butt I'm staring at look at this do you see it guys do you see it over there it is Pikachu's butt we're definitely gonna have to go around and see his face look at how cute he is guys so cute I got to go to this VIP Mattel breakfast and get to see all this cool new Mattel stuff so let's take a look around I'm so excited all the stuff in here looks adorable delivery for everyone if you keep your eyes right here we're ready I'm just gonna push down on the dog surprise no. Happy! Oh. okay but that's just the beginning part of the fun no so way. I have three puppies I'm gonna put them in my hand right here so there are three puppies and when they're first born they're born with their eyes closed I'll put a little water in here take my towel and put it over their eyes their eyes will open but we don't know if they are girl puppies or boy puppies, right? We know girls love the color change element, so we put hearts on the back of the um, puppies. So when they take the towel from the cold water, put it on top of there, a blue heart for a boy and a pink heart for a girl. I'm currently looking at the new Barbies that are coming out, and I think I am most excited about this because they actually look like real people. There are different body types, different hair colors, different hair styles and textures. Like, they are beautiful, and I love the new pastel hair colors because even though my hair is not naturally pink, I wish it was, and to be able to get a Barbie doll with pink hair or blue hair or purple hair would be amazing. I just got done with the Mattel VIP event. It was so awesome. There's so many awesome new things that are coming out with Barbie and Monster High and Thomas the Train and even Pokemon stuff. And I was just like so overwhelmed. There's so much awesome stuff. I even got a grab bag and I saw something really super cute in there. So I'm gonna have to go through that and show you guys. Uh, but yeah, this was amazing. I'm about to go through the rest of the toy fair and I am so excited I'm trying to make sure I'm talking enough through this but I'm just so in awe of all the stuff that I'm just like it's gonna be like a montage of just different shots of toys but I'm trying to make sure I talk to you guys too this is just so amazing there's so many new things coming out I can't wait like all day and as you can see there are a ton of pops behind me 
Also, there are tons of giant pops. Like, can you see those over there? Like, there's. There's Groot and Eleven back there. They're amazing. I wish I could have giant pops in my house, but it would probably take up the entire room because my, my apartment is small. dog is amazing. Tommy and Chucky. The reptile heart is so cool. And then all real monsters. I found the Tokidoki booth and I'm so excited to see the stuff that they have here. It's so neat to actually get to see some of the little figures that we're still trying to get in the blind boxes and then also just see if there's anything new that's coming that we can maybe have on the channel. Guys, I found some Niko Asumi. It's so cute. And these are all cute little plushes. Go guys, Super Mario. Amazing. Look how cute this is. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I must have this. There's bunnies. Here we go. This is like my life right here. A pink bunny. I am back in the hotel. The toy fair was amazing and there is just so much stuff to look at. It is crazy how much there is. I will be going back tomorrow um, for just a little bit because my flight is tomorrow. But yeah, so before I lay down to go to bed, I wanted to show you guys this swag bag and go through things because yeah, I'm just super excited about some of the things I see and I can't wait to see the other things. So let's go ahead and look at it. So I am just gonna do this on the bed to make things easy. So the first thing, which I have already seen, because I mean, like, how can you miss this, is the freaking pink haired Barbie and she's curvy, guys. I am so excited. Like I said, I wish that my hair was just naturally pink and it's just so cool to have a pink haired Barbie, guys. Like how freaking awesome is that? And the fact that I got this one, there were different ones in every bag and I was so excited when she handed this one to me. Okay, next is this Wolverine mashup, guys. I saw this also and I told my boyfriend about it because he loves Wolverine and this Wolverine is one of his favorites. I love Love the way they incorporated the claws into the car and the colors. The mashups are so cool. So these were not a part of this swag bag. Uh, these were just there for us to be able to take uh, when we first came in. So I just thought I'd go ahead and show them. Uh, there's Uno, Phase 10, and then there's this game, guys, that I am so excited to try out. It's called Snappy Dressers. It's so interesting, the art style. And there are literally, I pulled out the instructions, there are 10 different ways to play this game. We are definitely gonna have to try this one out. Okay, and then there is the Thomas the Train. Oh my gosh, the Thomas and Friends minis. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad we got some of these. I thought that's what these were. I couldn't really tell because they were like in there kind of like this, so I couldn't see. But yeah, these are super cool. So there's the Flash, there's Aquaman, there's Cyborg, and I don't know who this is. Firestorm is who that is. So the biggest thing in the bag is this monster truck, press and go monster truck. He is so cute, I love the colors. His little teeth are so cute, and it's so cool because this is like, it's like cloth. And so then you press his head, and that happens he would he would drive around <laughs> but he's in the box so he can't this is in there and I actually couldn't really see what it was because it was wrapped in this but it is the mega constructs 
And so I'm guessing it's some bricks. Look, that's so cool how you can see the little brick on the outside. A brick isn't just a brick. A brick is a gateway beyond. Oh, how cool is that? So this is like inspiration. And then we've got some bricks in here. We have one, two, and three. So there's three different types of bricks. Oh, there's more bricks. So there's three, there's multiple types of bricks. There's three here, and then there's one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, five different bricks in here. And then there was more in here, what's this? Oh yeah, there we go. I don't know exactly what these are, but these are stuff too. Okay, last two things are a couple of mysteries. We have some of the Shimmer and Shine Teeny Genies, and then we have the Monster High Minis Season 2. And they were telling me about these. A couple people were like, oh my gosh, you guys have to look at these. I've never opened any of these, so I'm super excited to open this one and see what we get. And maybe we'll have to get more of these. So that is everything from the Mattel bag. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of that. I am so excited that they gave us all of that. That's so cool that they did little swag bags for for everyone. I'm going to be heading off to bed and then I will see you guys in the morning for my last day here. Good morning guys! It is day two of my Toy Fair adventure. It is also my birthday. Yep, that's right. My birthday is today and I'm so happy that I get to spend it here looking at amazing toys and I've already packed stuff. I do have to leave tonight. I'm really sad about that because I've just had so much fun here but I did get all my bags packed. There's the bags. I did some creative packing because I didn't realize that I was gonna be getting stuff while I was here. I only brought two bags, guys, and they were already pretty full, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, how am I gonna get this stuff home? How is this gonna work? And somehow I did it. I had to like pull things out multiple times, try again, and I ended up doing it. It was like a magic trick, but yeah. So I got everything in there. I'm gonna go check out. I have to leave my bags here so I can go to the fair and then come back and get them and then go to the airport. So I am so excited to see the rest of the stuff today. I know there's definitely some things that I haven't seen yet. And then there are some things I saw booths back in the distance that I didn't get to because I ran out of time that I definitely wanna go make sure I get to today. So yeah, I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and get going. I'm just so excited to see the rest of the stuff. So let's go. I already got distracted by sock monkeys, guys. Oh, I love sock monkeys. They're so cute. dragon guys and the unicorn oh my gosh so cute of course I love the bunny oh my gosh how freaking cute so I found the Lego booth and I'm about to go through and look at some of the cool Lego stuff I think it'd be really awesome if we could do some Lego builds or something on the channel soon so let's see what there is building the models you can build in some accessories here so let's go ahead and give them a microphone here and I hook some sunglasses onto them and give them a bow tie here now he's super cool and he's gonna dance for us nailed it okay guys I just got done at the Lego booth and it was amazing I got to see so many cool new things I love Lego so much as you can see Harley and Supergirl are behind me and they're built out of Legos and they're just so cool I just saw 
saw this super cute little booth. It's called Tasty Peach Studios. They have such cute stuff and they have some wine boxes coming and I am so excited about that. I think it would be adorable to open. So I'm definitely gonna keep a lookout for them. Look at the back of this. It's just so freaking cute, guys. Okay guys, so I found the world's largest box of donuts. Thought that was pretty funny and it could be a good place to go ahead and end this vlog. Uh, the rest of my day is really honestly gonna be just getting back to LA. Um, so I am done at the toy fair. It was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this experience with me because <laughs> it was really amazing and I was so happy I got to share it with you. Please remember if you liked it to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys wanna see more and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.